Hi all. So today we'll, uh, we are going to discuss about yield versus generators and iterables. So first we'll discuss about iterables, then we can go for generators, then finally we'll discuss about yield. So basically, you know iteration, right? So in Python, so uh, let's, let me use a text here, text cell and iterables so by making use of google collaboration it is more flexible so if you want to work with python coding so let me use iterables and let's create a list when you create a list if you want to read its items one by one then uh, reading an item one by one is called iteration so let me create my list And let's say I'm going to write for loop for I in my list. And I'm going to print I. Okay. So let's run this particular cell. As I said, iteration is nothing but reading. But first, it will connect actually. Sorry. So uh, reading it items one by one is called iteration. So, so first it will read one, then it will go to second and third. So this is what iteration. And when you use a list of comprehension, you will you can create a list and uh, so you can you can iterate. So let me do that. Like uh, let me showcase the same code here. So let's create my list. And uh, I'm going to use x into x for x in range of three. Okay. So I'm using the range of three here. So for i in my list. Print i. So here the same uh, same thing uh, which we are using iteration whenever we are creating a list here x into x for x in range of three, okay? And you know like uh, in the range of three we do have zero, one, and two, right? So first it will pass zero, zero into zero it has to give output zero, then it will pass one, one into one we have to get one, uh, then we are going to pass two, then two into two, the result is four. So the output uh, we are going to expect is zero comma one comma four. So let's run this particular cell in Google collaboration. Perfect. So everything we can see uh, for something like I or X in range or something. So these all comes under iteration and uh, it allows like list tuples, strings and etc. like we'll use that. But the only problem is uh, we are going to store all the values in, in memory. And uh, this is not always what you want when you have a lot of values, right? So that's a problem with uh, whatever we are doing this iteration or the list we are creating. So then the concept comes called as generators, right? So let me use, sorry. So let me use a text. So generators and generators are iterators, the same generators are iterators, a kind of iterable and you can iterate only once. That is very important. You can iterate only once. Generators do not store all the values in, in memory. So as I said, in the previous case, it will store all the values, uh, but generators do not store all the values uh, in, in memory. They generate the values on the fly. So we can uh, we can look into an example here. So that's what just remember like uh, generators can iterate only once that is very important. So let me create a generator here. So let's use my generator or you can use any naming convention. I'm going to use the same code whatever the 
previous code which we have written right the same my list similar to that i'm using the same code here x in x x into x for x in range of three for i in my generator or any naming convention so as i said print i okay so what is the difference between the previous code and uh, the code which we are using for generators is like you can see for list we are going to use square brackets and the, the only the difference is the bracket brackets and uh, as i said but uh, we cannot perform for in my generator whatever the for this particular thing uh, for the second time so as i said since uh, generator can can only be called once that is very important just remember uh, generator can only only call for one time so so let me run this particular code and uh, we are going to get the same output uh, the only difference is like bracket as i said so first they will calculate zero then uh, then it will calculate one and goes on in at the end it will calculate for four got my point right so this is what generators where you can see the difference between uh, the previous code and uh, for the generators is like the brackets okay and let me uh, let me showcase uh, what is yield <clears throat> so let me use code here basically yield is a keyword that is used like written okay so a written statement expect except uh, uh, the function will return a generator so whatever the generator uh, uh, output right so we are going to get a similar kind of output by making use of yield function but yield is a keyboard sorry so let me use a function like gen let me create a function like definition and define create generator so let me use my list sorry my list equal to range of let's say 3 and let me write for loop here so for i in my list okay so you can print this print or you can print or let me write an yield function okay so this uh this is a statement where which we have created a function we, ju we just created a, a function and uh, that is what gen create generated and i used my list range of three and uh, we use the same iterator for i in my list so this is where we use yield function similar to as i said right uh, uh, iteration like for generators <clears throat> so let me create one more code cell so let me call let me create uh, uh, my generator something like my gen equal to i'm going to use i'm going to call that particular function create generator create generator so let me print let me print my generator here so first one is like uh, a create generator so which we are creating the generator that is what we are calling the uh, previous uh, whatever the function whatever the class which we have defined the function and uh, create generator i'm going to use i'm going to call that particular uh, uh, function here like uh, and my generator is an object so that is my gen is an object where which we are uh, printing that and let me use for loop here for i in my generator 
that is my gen sorry print i so let me uh, execute this first function first statement and that is what we are doing the same like as i said i into i like let's execute the second one so which we are going to get the same result something like in the range of three like zero comma one comma two right so first it will pass zero then zero into zero we're expecting zero and uh, one into one we are going to get one and uh, two into two we are going to get four so let's execute this got it right so generator is an object create generator and uh, the output is zero count zero one and four so we got the same result similar to generators as i said like uh, uh, like for yield function like yield is a keyword as i said yield helps a lot uh, it, it's it's it helps a lot uh, basically if you have huge number of values uh, here this example is like uh, nothing actually this is not that much helpful for yield but as i say like if you have huge number of values uh, this yield function helps a lot uh, when it comes to like uh, in a real time so thanks a lot for watching and uh, please to subscribe